Oh, here's Uwe Ball with a good idea and my dog behind me too. With a good idea for Postal 2. So we have uh, actually Oscar Pistorius without his uh, uh, fake legs on tries to rob in the bathroom forward to shoot Riza, whatever the wife was hiding behind the closet. But he has to pass the shower where Harvey Weinstein right now is showering and masturbating. He cannot really see it because it's kind of a blurred shower. And in front of the shower sits Gwyneth Paltrow with Angelina Jolie on a chair watching Harvey in the shower. But they getting attacked from behind from the fat Harry Knowles who comes with the wheelchair coming soon like to just attack him, but he fell flat on his big belly, blocks the way to uh, the uh, closed toilet where Pistorius still wants to shoot his wife. So he has a big problem to move over the fat Harvey Weinstein, mm. uh, 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 Harry Knowles, uh, passing the fat Harry Weinstein who comes now out of the shower, actually, and mm. things like... Uh, why you're still here, basically, uh, to the uh, two girls. And then uh, uh, he finally uh, shoots the wife. I think that was a, would be a great scene uh, for Postal 2. And now you all should feel how, what you fucking missed in not financing Postal 2 and why I'm retired. Because you're all a bunch of pussies, right? You watch like bullshit TV shit 24-7. You're addicted to your elf, uh, uh, iPhone and you think uh, the world is uh, digital and your friends too. But then when you get pummeled, and, uh, if somebody wants to pummel you, you will see that your iPhone friends or Facebook friends are actually not really helping you at all with nobody. I just watched La La Land and I would say, I mean, it got like 11 Oscar nomination or whatsoever. And I can say that basically only in German, like, wollt ihr mich verarschen? Ich, was soll denn diese Scheiße? So, translating in English means, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, uh, 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 movies like this, getting Oscar nominations, it's sensational on what lower end we already is settling. I mean, Moonlight was, to be honest, a okay movie of the week, maybe a lifetime movie of the week, like, pathetic, it was not... It was just boring, it had no ending, no climax, nothing. Moonlight was, no, Moonlight was nothing, nothing. You know, it's just unbelievable what movies getting automated for an Oscar. Like, we have to find some movies that don't hurt anybody. Maybe something with a slave or another Hitler Holocaust movie. Oh, no better, this time we do some The Race Card because last year we didn't nominate the black people. That is how it all works out. And you know why Harvey Wenschen gets, gets uh, fucked over now or why he's that done? Because of money! It is all the money and only the money what moves history and what actually uh, 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 moves history forward. It was always like this. Look, the Hudson Bay Company, a little knowledge transfer here, careful, Hudson Bay Company in Canada. They brought the smallpox to the natives and killed them all. The nice British! Yeah, they killed the natives. I had to get rid of them to occupy Canada. Is that not great? And the British did India and all the other colonization and slavery, etc., etc. And so it's like one historical event after the other. You can break down to money, right? So, and uh, by the way, there was John Oliver this weekend when he did about the uh, Confederate flag. He was wrong because he said the Civil War was about freeing the slaves, but we all know it was not. There was a side effect. It was money because if you have slaves and free labor, it's like unfair. I have to let the dogs out here right now. My God. So, and then... That is all, everything, every war, everything is money driven. And so is Harvey Weinstein. No Oscar movies in six years. He's fucked. He's basically nothing anymore. Company in debt. It's always like Ponzi schemes, like this breaking apart, you know? And then nobody wants to know anything from these people anymore. And then he was vulnerable. And then everybody comes up since 20 years. He fucking raped me. He judged me, whatever. But why? If you have proud and you're not a little fucking bitch, and sleeping your way up, like a lot of actresses. Uh, why are you silent? Because I was so scared of Harvey Weinstein. Bullshit. 
you have moral and principles and you go for it every single day of your life. It doesn't matter who is against it, right? So who w wants to whatever, like do something against me, against my principles, my, principles, my moral, but whatever, I fight him every day, every day with everything that I have. I'm not moving on the principles. So, and that is the same what they, what they all did. They were all little pussies from George Clooney, like, give me my directing debut money. Harvey, please give it to me so I can make my first director movie with my Nescafe uh, fucking uh, product placement. So, you know, like, that is all laughable and idiotic. And, and they were all kissing his ass and they know he was a bully, a rapist, an asshole, what, whatever. You know, okay, I saw him various times, this fat fuck, you know, and I was always waiting the whole time. Harvey, please attack me. Please be a bully to me. And then BOOM! Harvey Weinstein would go down on his fucking ass because all that idiots, they're always talking like, I was a boxer. No, you were not. You were always a fat fuck, you know. You can pummel people that are not trained. You know, but the first guy with fighting experience, like me, would fucking break his jaw and dump him. This fucking pieces of shit. Goodbye.